wa Kenya if this liberation is going to happen then there will also have to be some political education this thing is not something easy it's going to take some time so you better sit back get educated and then educate others the foreign interests you know lesson continues so that you can understand why these guys are around if you look at the british and the americans who have the biggest interest in kenya and who are treating kenya more or less like you know a political playground where wanakujanga kucheza the military contracts that these countries have you know through treaties signed after independence 99 year old treaties are such that they just need a stooge like uhuru kenyatta as the president of that republic the americans have their treaties so that their troops can be coming to kenya for training before they go to iraq before they go to the middle east because the americans don't have the kind of harsh environments we have in kenya and it's in kenya where they can easily attain you know permission to train the americans you know have permission to dock their warships in the you know on on the indian ocean they have control of the kenyan uh, sea space you know apart from the international waters you see their soldiers docking in mombasa to have a good time to relax with our girls at the coast you know sometimes even pedophiles they come there to defile our children americans need kenya for its strategic military operations in the gulf region where they are monitoring you know events in the middle east then when you look at the british the british are known to train their military soldiers in kenya since independence and you all heard about you know the explosives they have been leaving behind and exploded killing and maiming our fellow kenyans you know about the cases of the soldiers impregnating local girls leaving them behind with children a thing that even created a lot of uproar leading to cases in britain which eventually led to compensations the atrocities that the british have and continue to commit in kenya they need a puppet to accept these kinds of you know associations then of course you know very well that the americans have the biggest embassy in kenya why because kenya is the center of american operations cia operations in east and central africa so they need a puppet regime now let us now look at you know you look at the hotel industry they have basically captured it almost any major hotel is owned by them tourist hotels intercontinental hotel hilton hotel sarova hotels diani beach nyali beach serena jacaranda they own them where tourists come and spend their time they are owned by 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 these guys masai mara so the tourists come sleep in the beach hotels and if you you remember malindi is taken over by the mafia you know sicilian mafia italian mafia israeli mafia they own almost everything in the coast kenyans own nothing our country has been sold and they want that status quo to remain and they are doing it crudely they don't even care that Kenyans know that Uhuru Kenyatta is not the president of Kenya. Uhuru Kenyatta doesn't qualify to be the president of Kenya. Uhuru Kenyatta is a criminal. Ruto is a criminal who have been taken to the IEC. You know, they facilitated their release because they saw that these are the people we can work with. And they continue to threaten Uhuru that if you play with us, Raila is on the door, ICC is on the other side. So this explains why these foreigners are in our country to control our politics because they control our economy through the systems i'm trying to describe apart from that the land issue 
Uhuru Kenyatta's family is one of the biggest landowners in Kenya. And if you look at the property that Uhuru Kenyatta owns, he owns bits of land, chunks of land that when combined makes him and his family the biggest landowners and the biggest business owners through businesses like Brookside ETC. But foreigners are the biggest landowners. That is, if you look at a parcel of land owned by just one foreigner, if you look at the top 10 landowners in Kenya, they are from, you know, foreign lands. For example, Ol Aliniru Ranch is owned by an Italian called Cookie Goldman. Ol Pajeta Farm is owned by a foreigner. It used to be owned by Lord Delemere, you know, immediately after colonialism. But then Adnan Gashogi also owned it briefly, then transferred ownership to another foreigner. If you look at Ol Jogi Ranch, it's owned by a French citizen. These are some of the biggest land, land holdings in that country. Then, of course, there is the Loisaba Conservancy that is owned by, you know, an Italian. There is Segara Ranch that is owned by a German who is the former CEO of Puma. You know Puma International. Olemalo Ranch owned by Colin Francobe, one of the biggest ranches in Kenya. Olemalo Ranch also runs Olemalo House, which is one of the biggest, you know, tourist houses, you know, down there in the Rift Valley. It's owned by foreigners. They also control Olemalo Lodge, which is a major tourist lodge, you know, apart from the hotels. Now we are on the ranches. Then there is Mugie Ranch, owned by another foreigner, Klaus Mortenstein. Then there is Mpala Ranch. These are the top 10 ranches in Kenya I'm naming here. You need to sit down and do some research. Study this, you know, history. Study this reality. Then you will understand why these foreigners are in our country to control our politics. Suiyan Ranch. Who owns it? It's, it belongs to a foreigner. So, while Kenyans are landless since the days of independence, foreigners are owning vast pieces of land, especially in the Rift Valley. And these pieces of land are still called the White Highlands. So, where are you, what are you telling them? They control this country. This is their country. We are just squatters in our own country. So, when they intervene in our politics, it is like they are telling Kenyans that, look, you guys, we have been the people controlling this country since independence. Now, you guys, you want to bring in a new regime that is going to take over? We don't want that. This explains why these guys are sticking with Uhuru Kenyatta, a puppet regime. Know your history. Educate yourself. None but ourselves shall free our minds. It is us Free up a Kwanza. Understand. Understand what is going on here. Whether you are a Kikuyu, whether you are a Luo, whether you are a Luya, whether you are a Mkamba, whether you are from the coast province. This is the reality in our country. Uhuru Kenyatta is there to supervise the internal exploitation and external dependencies on these guys. Now, the entertainment industry. Who owns the cinemas? the cameo cinema, Fox, you know, 20th century, who owns them? And what kind of films do you see? American films, British films, what kind of videos do your children, you know, watch? It's all American and British. So they are basically in control of our social life and our culture, apart from our politics. This is the problem of Kenya. And this explains why these foreigners are now surfacing. They have a lot to lose in case a regime comes that does not support the status quo. These guys, they own the game parks in Kenya. They own, they own the lions, they own the elephants. You know, when tourists come, when these tourists are watching game, the government owns portions of these game parks, but majority of these parks are owned by foreigners and you have even seen some of them shooting Kenyans who are starving and you know go, going hunting you come hunting in this territory you are shot dead Cholmondle the late you know grandson of Lord Delemere is still in living memory these guys loot this country and they don't pay taxes 
because they utilize the corrupt state apparatus in order to siphon funds in jail. This is why they want to work with the regime. They need a ruling class that will not disturb the status quo. In the meantime, as a Kenya, you are taught to worship Wazungu. That whatever they say is correct. Now, they are, they are exposing themselves. They are exposing themselves and it is important for Kenyans to grab this opportunity to understand that these guys are not with us. They are not for our interests. They are for their interests. Kenya Yao, they, they own Kenya. Because if you own all these things I'm mentioning, you own that country. That is why they are clinging with Uhuru. Now, look at it this way. A government usually has contracts to build roads, build hospitals, build bridges, you know. And these guys are more interested in contracts. Even the IEBC elections, if you look at the people who had the contracts, you know, for the IEBC's electronic infrastructure. It's the Americans. The British have been selling us, you know, army uniforms for quite some time. They sell us weapons, you know, the army lorries have been coming from Britain until Uhuru Kenyatta started sending things to China. And now the British have told him that in support for, in, 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 for our support, we are going to get back our contracts. The agricultural industry the tea industry. They are the ones in charge. The electronics industry. The distribution networks. Big distribution networks. The big industries that are manufacturing consumer commodities. They own them. If you go to industrial area, the biggest companies you find there are mainly owned by foreigners. So they either own them through Wahindi, their intermediaries, or the local bourgeoisie whom they work with. They're in cahoots with to defraud Wakanda.